Hello, my friends. A very good day. And may God bless you all. But bless you indeed. And do you know what the greatest blessing God can give you is? It is to open your spiritual eyes so that you may understand, understand His will. For example, just an example, pay attention. Someone asked me, Bishop, I would like very much to obey the Word of God. I would like very much to follow Jesus. But I can't. You know, Bishop, there's something that pushes me towards what's evil. And even though I know what is right, I do what is wrong. How can I change my ways? So I'm going to explain to you. Pay attention. When we truly want something above everything else, then we do not live by what we feel. It's not whether we feel like it or not. We have the understanding that the thing we want is the best for us. So we put all of our strength. Yes or no? For example, you go to a party. Let's say you are invited to a great party. A party where there will be great opportunities for you. You are going to meet important people, rich people, famous people, people from the high level of society. So what do you do? What do you do? What would you do if you were invited to take part in such a party, a party that is extremely special, that is extraordinarily special, where only important people would go, beautiful people, rich people, people full of glamour and so on, and famous, what would you do? You are invited, then what are you going to do? You are going to invest on your hair, you are going to invest on your appearance, you are going to invest on your dress, on the clothing you are going to wear, you are going to use the best you have, the best you have to go, you know, and present yourself in that party. Yes or no? Yes, of course. That's how it is. Very well. Now think with me the following. Think with me. Jesus said like this, Again, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. Very well. What does a person do when they know that there is a chance of them, you know, a golden opportunity for them to change their life? For example, the important party that I mentioned here, you are going to invest what you have and what you don't have to be there, isn't it? But let's look at what Jesus said, that the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. So you can imagine if you know, you find out that there is a hidden treasure, but not just a little treasure, but, you know, an, a, a great wealthy treasure, something impossible to imagine how great that is. And imagine that this treasure is by your house, in the area around your house. Then what would you do? You know that you have this information. So you are going 
to do everything possible, you are going to go all over that, that area, that region, you are going to do researches, you are going to seek, you are going to put all of your strength to find that treasure as the treasure hunters do in this world, isn't it? You know that there are professionals that live only to treasure hunt, treasures that are lost out there, whether in the sea or in, under the earth. So they invest everything, their entire lives. They don't think of anything else but to invest what they have to find the treasure. Come on, my friend, you would do the same thing that if you knew that near your house there is a treasure no one has ever found. Everyone is working, taking care of their life, but you have such a precious information concerning the treasure. You have a valuable information, only you have it. You know, and only you know, that there is a hidden treasure there near your house. No one knows about that. And you are not going to go around spreading the news about that. You are going to go after the treasure. You will invest on that. You are going to look for it. You are going to see what you can do, where it could be. So you are going to do a research in the lands around, in the houses that are falling apart, houses that have been abandoned, you are going to invest all that you have to find that treasure. You don't know where it is, but you know that it exists. Do you understand what the kingdom of heaven is like? Do you understand what the salvation of your soul is like? Do you understand what Jesus is trying to tell us here? Very well. When we come to know that when we find out that such treasure, such valuable treasure that we, only we know about, then we are going to invest all of our minds to find such, such treasure. Then I ask you, Jesus spoke about this hidden treasure. This treasure to be found. Do you need to feel anything? Do you need to be like, oh, I feel like searching for this treasure? No, you don't. You need to know that you have to, to be interested in that treasure. You understand that will make you powerful and rich. Therefore, once you have knowledge of that, then whether you feel like it or not, you are going to go and search for the treasure. Yes or no? Which means that you are going to sacrifice to sacrifice your time, your days, you're going to sacrifice anything, including that party that I spoke about in the beginning, to search for the treasure. Because only you know where it is. Then you're going to go after it. So whether you feel like it or not, you follow your intuition, you follow, sorry, sorry for the expression, but just like a dog that sniffs, you know, you, you are going to be sniffing around to search for such treasure. Well, the kingdom of heaven, my friends, it's too great. The kingdom of heavens, have you imagined you entering the kingdom of heaven? The kingdom of heaven is not a fantasy. Jesus didn't die in vain. Jesus died so that you and I could have access to this treasure which is hidden to everybody to this world, except to those who think, those who are wise, those who rationalize, those who use their intelligence to then make a decision. No, I'm going to go after this treasure. I'm going to go after it because it is for all eternity. This is not a treasure that makes you rich and grow old and then die rich. No. It's a treasure that keeps you alive and to live intensively all the glory all the exuberance that 
is waiting for those who are loyal, faithful to God, those who truly let go of their desires, their will, their lust, or their vanities, or whatever it is of their heart, to invest in what is eternal. God is a spirit, my friend. And when we, when we find such treasure, the one Jesus is placing available to everyone, then we become spirit, just as God. Just as God is a spirit, we also, once we find this treasure, we become spiritual. And as our God and Father is a spirit, then we as well will be spirit, life-giving spirit. So there is the treasure. Do you want to find the treasure? Do you want to find the treasure that is there close to you? Then follow the map. Pay attention. Follow the map of this treasure, which is Jesus. Jesus gives the tip. He shows the treasure. Every day, we give one step closer to the treasure. When we obey, when we learn to obey, to follow what God spoke, because the treasure map, the map to the hidden treasure is hidden. It's hidden for the world, but not to those who are sincere, those who are humble, humble in spirit, those who submit themselves to the word of God, or better yet, to the treasure map, which is the word of God. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the way to the kingdom of heaven, which means that he is the map available revealed <laughs> to all those who are wise, who are humble, who are submissive to those who hear and regardless of whether they feel like it or not, they obey the word of God. Did you understand, my dear friend? So, when we let go of the filthy of the world we live in, of the disgraceful world we live in, when we let go of this and we place our mind into the map, the treasure map, to follow the map. Of course, there is sacrifice involved. You have to let go of what is not right. You have to let go of this secular information in order to absorb the path which Jesus has established so that you could find the hidden treasure. Did you understand? It's up to you now to decide. God has given us spirit, intelligent, capacity to reason. He has given us an intelligent faith. We are not seeing this treasure. We are not seeing the kingdom of heaven. But there is an assurance of its existence. I am not seeing God because God is a spirit. I don't feel God. I don't touch God. But... But I put all of my life in this person that I don't see, feel, or touch. But I am sure, I have this conviction that He is with me. Because we have this perception, this discernment. And this is what faith is. Faith is the certainty of things hoped for certainty, conviction of what is not seen. The treasure map is the word of God. Jesus is the map. He is the way, which means that it, he conducts us to the kingdom of heaven. Jesus is the truth. So the map that Jesus shows us 
is all of his truth. So follow this map and you are going to see that you are going to receive a new life. You will live in a dimension infinitely greater than the one that people who are inclined to conquering the temporary things of this world live in. Tomorrow, I will be at 7 a.m. here in the Temple of Solomon alongside Bishop Adilson and at 9.30 a.m. with Bishop Renato Cardoso. And you are my special guest, okay? May God bless you and until then, in the name of Jesus. Amen.